All right, so Megan Hall, she's uh, back. This time better than ever, I suppose. Now, just in case you guys don't know who Megan Hall is, Megan Hall is a police officer from the Laverne Police Department and uh, was uh, caught up in a scandal that involved multiple officers uh, committing a lot of lascivious acts that violated many policies. Yeah, I don't know why she's back though. Like the last time I heard, she wanted to just move on with her life and kind of just shrugged it off. I mean, it, at least that's what it says here on this article, but no, she, she's back with a fury, I suppose. And um, yeah, apparently she wants to take on the whole of our police department for its environmental hostility. This time Megan Hall is back with a new challenger, her lawyer, and is pretty much framing it in a way where it allows her to be the victim in this entire situation. Megan wasn't looked at like a rookie cop to be trained and promoted. She was looked at as a piece of meat to be sexualized and exploited. Now I can see why the lawyer is framing it as such, because if you take a look at the investigative report, you will see that there is a ton of violations. Now we're gonna get into all of that, but before we do, let's go ahead and just kind of like reiterate all of the events that have led up to this point. So first off, there was the Girls Gone Wild hot tub party, which uh, at least that's how one anonymous tipster frames it. There were massive orgies going on, not only at the police department, but also at domesticated settlements, you know, their homes. There was videos of Megan Hall and other police officers, male officers, that had their photos and videos shared around without their consent in the police department. Even the chief of police got a hold of some of these lascivious materials. One of them even contained a photo of Megan Hall with a foot in her mouth. And I'm not talking about just one big toe, I'm talking about all five toes. The girls got talent. And we know this because again, the investigative report suggested this was the case. There was even text messages between McGowan and the chief of police, just going back and forward talking about the entire uh, situation. And you know what my favorite quote from the chief was? It's hard to look at her and not say, you know, I know, low. Mayor Jason Cole was actually the one who ended up bringing about certain images of text messages. And he called in chief of police, uh, Burl Chip Davis. He placed the images right in front of him and he asked him to confirm if these images were real. And of course, Chip Davis, the chief of police, he actually confirms that these images are real. And what's crazy is that the chief even attempted to thwart the entire investigation by stating that these images were manipulated and were attempting to set them up. Even after he claimed that these were real by his own admission. I also like how the police commented two months ago. Police Chief Chip Davis issued a statement saying in part, the actions of a few do not represent the entire department. Of course not chief, we believe you, especially when we know that this department has a history of lascivious conduct stemming back all the way to 2007. Of course, wh why would we even doubt that for a second? And get this, the guy that the chief was talking with or texting with in those text messages with Ty Gowan, He's the one, Ty Gowan was the one who was caught back in 2007 performing lewd acts on the job. And we know this because there's documentation of it happening. He was demoted back in 2007 and his salary was cut because of that. It also doesn't help the situation when like some of your officers are intimidating HR to make sure that this story doesn't go public. What a story, man. So even after all of that, now I can see why the lawyer is saying that she was seen as a piece of meat because again, like there were so many violations, you know, they had her content uh, being sent to every other police officer without her consent. There is a police officer with a history of lascivious conduct. And I wouldn't be surprised if they at times even neglected the fact that she was stating no and they were just going for it. Kind of peer pressuring, you know? I mean, this is a woman and like a lot of these men are pretty big and burly. So I don't know if she would be intimidated by them. Now there is a couple of things that worry me about Megan because I'm sure that in that same interview, you guys can see her talking about mental illness. They isolated me, they shunned me. They accused me and they blamed me for becoming a victim. Hall suffered from depression to the point of considering and at one point was hospitalized. She felt trapped. My supervisors worked together to take advantage of my vulnerabilities and my mental health. And they used it for their gain and sexual pleasure. So when somebody talks about mental illness, I tend to kind of just 
put it on the side and not really pay too much attention to it because it just seems like such a convenient excuse. However, though, there is a bit of evidence that she is kind of a, not all the lights are turned on. There's a car driving, but no driver. You get what I'm saying, right? So when we take a look at the beginning of the investigative report, we can read here that on December 8th, 2022, she was hospitalized for 72 hours after disclosing her self-deletion thoughts and intentions. There's been other times too where officers have reported her behavior, such as grabbing a gun with no clip and clicking it at the side of her temple just so she could hear what it sounds like. Bro, like wh what kind of behavior is that? This woman definitely has problems. She's also very promiscuous, which could also have like some sort of correlation with, you know, self-deletion, at least according to this government study here. However, the entire study kind of talks about self-deletion with uh, promiscuity and also mental disorders. When you combine all three of them together, that definitely has greater effect of these kind of thoughts. I'm also gonna leave it down in the description below if you guys wanna read that. Yeah, so like it, it's pretty insane, like her behavior Behavior, everything it just seems like she's just very nonchalant about life and it doesn't really matter to her she doesn't really care about anything yeah but ever since this came out the entire department the reputation of that department just has crumbled and in place of it is just this facade of a joke it's not like the people the community doesn't even take this police department serious the people online just continuously dunk on this entire department if you go to the community post over on facebook they're promoting their events however everybody just kind of goes on these uh posts and just comments really terrible stuff about the department one after another after another after another i don't know how long it's going to take for this entire situation to uplift but i doubt that it's going to recover. The reputation of this department is gonna recover anytime soon. A couple of final thoughts. I don't think Megan Hall could ever return to law enforcement, obviously, right? Because her reputation is shot. Uh, but what's interesting is that now she could pursue her dream of becoming an actor. Overall, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Like, she's just gonna have to wait for this entire situation to just kind of die down this online situation because she's still being memed like crazy. There's even a meme where she, it says in the caption that, you know, she's gonna be the first one at the Royal Rumble because she wants to take on 27 men. Like, I was like, damn, like that is crazy, bro. After doing research, especially on the investigative report, it seems to me like even the men, some of the men, they could even sue because their lascivious content was passed around in the department. So, you know, that's a violation of the handbook. I'm sure that they also have a winning case because if you ask me, like this case is pretty much a slam dunk for Megan Hall. Like all the evidence is there, the violations, the poli the chief of police, even he knew and he did nothing about it. So it seems like a slam dunk for Megan Hall, but again, that's to be determined. So yeah, if you guys wanna check out all the sources, the sources are gonna be down in the description below. And yeah, that's uh, all I have for you guys today. And hopefully you guys learned something today.